Let's have some beer. Oh, what? You going down, people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got something kind of odd and weird. It's a coconut lemongrass Thai PA by the Louis, I'm not sure if it's Louis or Louis Cipher, I'm assuming that's pronounced, Brew Works, out of a location that I didn't look into. Toronto, Ontario. I didn't realize this. For some reason, I thought this was from the States. I don't even know why. I've never seen anything by this brewery that I know of. Never tried anything by this brewery that I know of. And coconut in an IPA is weird in my brain's opinion. Highly recommended by a couple people at the LCBO though. So this was the last can they had. And I was like, eh, you know, I never, never had it. So I'll try it. Cause that's how I, that's how I do it. Let's crack it open. And let's see what we've got. This was a uh, 3.35 a can at the LCBO. And you know what? I'm not gonna totally fill the glass. That's a mistake I make all the time. And then the aroma. It, the, the reason of the glass is to, you know, concentrate the aroma. Holy crap. All I smell is coconut. Like, toasted coconut. That is weird. Why did I... Freaking thumbnail. Jesus. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That's like the, one of the first times I've done that in a long time. Um, it's basically clear. There's definitely a chill haze on it, but without that, I can... There's a tiny bit of haze to it, I guess. And like I said, nothing but coconut on the nose. So with all that in mind, now that I've done that, let's give her a shot. That's a lot of coconut. That's basically all I'm getting in the flavor is coconut. And that's all that's lingering in my mouth right now. Nothing but coconut going on in that beer. I'm not sure what the PA has to do anything, has to do with anything. Supposed to be a take on India Pale Ale, but it's there's nothing India Pale Ale ish about this. But it's it's kind of good. So uh, let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, I'm not really getting. I don't know what the, what the lemongrass flavor actually is, because the only other beer I can think of that I've had that has lemongrass would be the. Uh, Lion Grass from Highlander. Surrender to Taste, a citrus forward pale ale with Thai inspired flavors of coconut and lemongrass. I'm getting zero citrus flavor out of this. Water, malted barley hops, and natural flavors. That's a pretty big ingredient list fail right there. That's no. You don't just say natural flavors. This isn't a can of pop. That's that's not cool. I don't like that at all. Flavored strong beer, it says. So it's, yeah, I don't like that. Uh, we've got what I believe, wait. See, you can never tell, because in Canada, it's generally month, no, day, month, year. That's how we generally do it in Canada. Even though you don't really usually say it like that, it just makes sense to have it written like that. So if that's true, this would be the third day of the sixth month, which is uh, June this year. So June, July, August, just over two months old. I don't know if the citrus flavors, if they were there, would have completely fallen off in that not really long time frame. Two months is kind of... With most IPAs, I find the the sweet spot. You know, anything past that, you can start to get a bit of that malt balm flavor coming in. You get it too fresh. It can be, you know, and some some beers they, they need a, a a little bit of time on the shelf before you get into them. But this is still good. Like quite good. 
if there is any kind of citrus drop off, malt bomb, malt bomb transition happening, it's completely covered up by the coconut flavor. A hundred percent. Like overall, I'm, I'm a fan of the beer. I'm the ingredient list is the only thing I'm really thumbs downing about it. Um, Louis Lewis, don't know Cipher Brewworks. Was dot com right? Com. We'll bring you to them.com and one of those websites that just is fantastic for what I'm doing. I like it. I don't know what I like what I what I'd personally classify this as. Like it's a coconut beer, basically, but what the I guess I just call it a coconut maybe the Thai PA. It's not supposed to be IPA. It's the Thai pale ale. But they just did it like that because it said it still sounds like Thai, like IPA. I have no idea. But um, regardless, I am actually going to sit down and thoroughly enjoy most of this. It's pretty good. Like, it's it's just coconut. It's beer with coconut. Natural flavor of coconut. Like it's probably not even, it's probably some artificial friggin' flavor. The blanket of natural flavors, the amount of crap you're able to put under that, that's the that's the reason I'm not happy about that at all. At all, at all, at all. Rating wise, we've got a 3.44 out of five with 1,927 ratings overall and untapped. <laughs> And a 3.54 out of 5, excuse me, with 11 ratings on Beer Advocate. Yeah. It's uh, kind of weird the way they uh, change the website. There's like a, there's a beard hair tickling my nose. Okay, we're good. It's one of the most annoying things in the world when you got the mustache that I've experienced. Mm -hmm. If it constantly, constantly bursts into flames or something, there could be more annoying. Annoying? Yeah, I know the words. Not gonna lie, we're doing this review a little while after doing the uh, Great Divide Sour Ale. So, you know, I've got a bit of beer in me at this point, but I'm not, I'm hammered. 6.5, that was 6.2, I think, so. Did I even say the ABV when I introduced the beer at the beginning? For some reason, I don't think I did. I'm a failure. Drink number the last. <sighs> Louis Cipher. I'm going with Louis because it just sounds better. Your uh, Thai PA rating. Seven. I'd bump it up to 7.5, but I'm not down with that ingredient list at all. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It just, I don't know, it's coconut. I like coconut, but it's not like one of my favorite flavors. So this really didn't blow my mind in the least. And uh, if you had it and it blew your mind or didn't blow your mind or, you know, did nothing for you, just let me know in the comments down below because that's the end of this particular video. Thanks a bunch for watching. If you liked the video, smash the thumbs up button in the face. If you want to see more, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Smack the bell notification in its face to make sure you're made aware when new videos are released and when I go live playing the video games. And I shall be back with something like this pretty freaking soon. <gasps> Peace out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go do now. Because it's taken over my life. But it's fun. <laughs>